Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. We've got two skill points available because we've been going all over the place. Uh, if we look at the map, which I don't think I can do right now, but if you look at the map, we've done, we've gotten a lot of coin caches, we've gotten a lot of other things off camera, just to make sure that we picked up most of the things we can. We have something like 300 some odd coins, so we're here at the store in the Soviet installation to pick up some things. We do have a lot of equipment in here too that we can upgrade we'll be picking up the we got some chromite here so might as well yeah we have lots and lots of salvage that we can use here so out of these two i think folding stock for recoil stability sounds like a good idea to me and we have some crew feeders which is good for me and then finally for Moon Shadow, actually it's not Moon Shadow that'd be the equipped one. It would be one of these. Yeah, the semi auto pistol looks like it has an upgrade available. Which is ergonomic grip. Now technically this I think is the I don't know which one is the stereotypical uh, gun for her use. Heavy pistol? Doesn't look quite right. Venom hand cannon definitely isn't. I really think it's Moonshadow. I think that's the one that she's used in all the PS2 games. Sibiter Nox just doesn't look right for some reason, but it could be that the extended grip, or the extended clip rather, is just um, a little crazy. Yeah, the damage is not great on that. I think we go with the Moonshadow because that's one of the best damages. The Venom Can is obviously the best damage, but the uh, recoil is really bad, ready fire is really bad, ammo capacity is really bad, reload speed is really bad. And then for skills, we did, of course, pick up a lot of experience because of all the things that I picked up off camera. Um, so we might as well go ahead and use that. Adrenaline's okay. Field Medic might be better. Deadeye, sure, I suppose. We could start doing these, like the hollow point bullets, dragon fire shells, etc. I think what we'll just do instead is the... is upgrade the fire arrows and the bomb arrows so that their area of effects is a little better. That's those skill points put away. So let's go ahead and see what we can get at the shop here. Um, I don't think we'll be able to afford everything. We should be able to afford the rifle thing, right? Yeah, so that's 120. We have a 300, 358, more than I thought. So sure, go ahead and pick that up. That could be good for us. I think we can Careful. buy one more at this price. Our explosive rounds automatically apply to all rifles. Thank you, much appreciated. There's nothing else here, right? Yeah, nothing else on this side. So then it's just a matter of, well, do you want to pick up an additional gun? Kind of? Maybe? They're both 140. We should make that 280 to pick up both of them, unless my math is totally off. Um, so we'd have to pick. Military grade tactical rifle kind of sounds cool. Right, police large capacity shotgun. We already have the drum magazine for typical shotguns, so actually that doesn't give us any benefit at all. Yeah, so I think if we want any of these, military rifle might be the best go-to here. As far as I know, there's no use That's picking nice up. Gear. Enjoy it. Um, there's no use saving the money for anything else. Only it's only used in this shop, as far as I know. Um, so we need. 50 odd more coins somewhere out in the world. I have no idea. I know there's a coin cache in the Soviet installation that I just don't know where it is. Um, I think it is a coin cache. If we look at the map here, so tell us. No, not a coin cache. Um, so zoom me out here. Let's see where it would be. And we're missing survival caches here in the research base. Also, a strong box that probably has a weapon. Um, again, no idea what these are. Because we usually get a satchel or something to figure out, or a map to figure out where this would be. So we'd have to roam all over this place to find out. Not something I really feel like is worth my time. But maybe if we, yeah, maybe if I have some time later. Abandoned mines, we actually got 100% there, which is good. Story here, we don't have 100% here, mostly because the challenges aren't complete. Um, everything else looks like we picked up. A couple of survival caches still missing. Um, again, don't know where those are. We could, of course, look in the wiki for those and just find them. That would work. That's for nothing. This has this is 100% complete, so we died in this one. 
Flutter Archives is 100% complete. So yeah, so really the thing we're going to do now is go and go to the story. The story is up here. Um, never mind that. That particular objective marker doesn't mean anything right now. It's actually up here. Um, in this observation tower, there's an entrance in the stairs. So what we actually need is this base camp for the ridge line. So let's do it. All the way over here, so ridge line. There you go. So this will take us to the secret entrance, probably guarded by who knows how many guardians. Now remember, they can't be killed, but they do feel pain. So, yay? So we can incapacitate them. Don't need to worry about killing them, because they are, after all, the deathless guardians. But they have been all touched by the divine source. Unfortunately, it really seems like Jacob would just be able to go in and say, Hey, um, I'm the prophet, so please don't hurt my emissary, the um, Raider of the Tombs. Sadly, that does not seem to be an option. So here we go. Um, I'm going to pick... Yeah, maybe a rifle for this, but maybe actually... I want to use the military rifle instead. So to do that, we need to switch weapons with the bonfire here. So, let's order my... Sorry, not the inventory. Weapons. And instead of the SMG, which is nice and all, should get the military... There we go, military rifle. Good damage, decent recoil. Oh, that reload speed is terrible. Rate of fire is also pretty bad, but the grenade launcher should help. Launches frag grenade with the right button. I will try to remember that. Okay, that looks pretty cool. I just have a suppressor in case we can actually be silent. I have a feeling we're going to get ambushed quite a lot here. I don't know why I think that. It's just, you know, it's a feeling I have. It's a feeling I have. I would love if there was a lot more stealth in this game, but... I mean, that's pretty typical of Tomb Raider games, is you'll get quite a few ambushes and only occasionally get stealth in, to the point where you wonder why they actually added stealth in the first place. It is nice when it works, though. Alright, let's go in nice and slow. Okay, yeah, now there's a grenade launcher. We don't want to use it yet. The Orrery. Um, Orrery, if I remember right, is... I don't know what that's used for. It's used for looking at stars. I don't remember. Some kind of astronomy thing, but I don't remember what it was. Alright, well, there's some places for some broadhead arrows. A survival cache right there. Lots of broadhead arrows all over the place. So they clearly want us to use our arrows. Let's make sure we have enough for all different types. That's enough there. Enough there. It's enough there. Okay, we're good. So it seems unlikely. I was going to say it seems unlikely they'd be affected by poison, but maybe they will. Yep. Your red target ring indicates shots will knock out nearby or green ring indicates a well-lined shot. Okay, and that's good to know. I want to come down here first, though, because, hey, survival cash. Might need this equipment. Never know. Three hides. I am a little short on hides. We can still upgrade a lot of stuff. At least upgrades are available. Alright, so, I mean, this is not a green shot, but take what I can get. So, we can line up multiples here, right? So, oh, I see. Okay, so that that makes it green. I understand. Over here, bounce over here. Kind of a weird jump, but I'll accept it. And there we go. Made it. I'll totally take these mushrooms, because we did just... Create some more poison arrows, I think. Right, more of these, huh? Right, and that seems reasonable. And it's there. Um, right. It's a little weird, a little janky, but it worked. It's going to be quite the bounce to get up there, or I can just go that way. Do I want to go up? I don't know if I want to go up. I mean, there's something there. I suppose that's salvage. But I could just make it over this way. Nope. Oh, okay, I did make it up. Okay, here I thought I was doomed. I was not doomed. Yeah, so maybe I want to make it up that way. Alright, 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 we can do it. No, we cannot do it. Okay, that almost killed me. Fortunately, the arrow was here. Bounce over this way. Alright, try that again. Can I... 
Okay, that'll knock the arrow away, but maybe I want to do that. Knock that arrow away, and then line that up perfectly. So then, yeah, there you go. That gets me up. And we're good to go. Oh, and a satchel, even better. We know where things are. Theoretically, it should stop us from backtracking too much. Let's see what secrets were revealed. Okay, well, we know where one of the survival caches is, and unfortunately, that's going to be it. Um, there's a codices in here? So, a codices... I mean, this area is huge, right? No, it's not actually that big. I mean, it looks enormous, but once we move away from it, realize it's not that big. So there's another section, like, over here. Codices. I mean, I don't know. I think a codices is one of the things that gives us one of the secrets. But that would mean there'd be an, a challenge tomb here. Now, we do know there's another tomb. Right, I mean, that's good, too. We have a bonfire. Did you know there's another tomb? Because um, we've only gotten eight of the nine. So there's at least one more challenge tomb or crypt or something they will reward us with. Alright, we're getting the chromites good. Actually, is it good? Does it help us at all? It might not help us at all right now. I'm not going to care about the bonfire. And we'll move over here. And there's supposed to be a survival cache thing over here. It's even pretty obvious. I mean, how do you miss that, right? If I didn't know it was there, would I have spotted it? It's a good question. I don't know. Maybe. Somehow I doubt it. Got a boar hide from that? How does that even... Okay. Sure. Why not? I guess someone buried a boar hide here ages ago. But they really want us to use these poison arrows, don't they? It seems like... Also, explosive arrows are giving us a lot of explosive tight. Amazing. If you say so. What's amazing about it? Oh, I think she's mentioning. I mean, the carvings in the walls are pretty cool. She was looking up, so I'm unclear. Just be careful here. I'm expecting an ambush from Jacob, Deathless. Jacob, I'm heading in. What will I find down here? My people haven't been down there since we sealed it off centuries ago. But it should be safe, at least until you make it past the orrery. Was it part of the observatory? It was built by my astronomers before the Deathless buried the old city. You'll need to use it to open the entrance to Katesh. Just looking around to see if I spot anything, but I don't. Tell me there'd be a survival cache or something I could easily spot, but no such luck. Survival mode? Just indicate supposed to go that way, okay. I always like to explore a little bit outside the realm just to see if there's anything there, you know. Yeah, give me some light here, Lara. You too appreciates the, uh, the extra light. Alright. That seems something I can just open, right? What's the catch? Okay, I mean, that's clearly an ori. Okay, so I can't just open that door, that's unfortunate. But maybe I can go in there later. Oh, that's the codices right there. That's it, right there. Okay, so we've got to be able to wrap around somehow. If we can't open the door, there's got to be a way to go around it or something. So let's see. So don't go too fast. We're going to look for traps and various other things. I like survival caches. Sometimes there's survival caches right after you land, but no such luck. Okay, and this seems easy enough. Tactical was probably unnecessary, but I like to do it just in case. So we're actually going below the codices now. Don't like that. Not sure how not to do it, though. There might be a way to climb back up. Um, I think you can just drop and be fine. She was not so sure. Come on, Laura, you can do it. There you go. Anything over here? No? Doesn't look like it. Okay. This is extraordinary. Oh, well, it's like any of the other mechanics around here, it's gonna work really well. Let's see how this thing works. Okay, there's something to climb on, it looks like. 
that's a lot of Earth. Kind of confused. Okay, it must be like this is what the Earth looks like at certain times of the year. I don't know if those are Earths. Maybe they're not. Okay, we need to get up on top of it anyway, and then I think the codices we want is over that direction. So, still good. The, um, the pit of despair underneath the orrery seems like Osha would want a word. Just saying. Alright, let's book it, I guess. That did not work. Yeah, that's that's just doom, is what that is. That is utter and complete doom. That is doom and a half, is what that is. I get 50 experience for dying there, because that'd be kind of funny. Alright, so clearly just jumping here isn't going to work. But I can move this, so let's try it. Okay, so that's swinging. Okay, that lines that up, so maybe I can climb on top of it. Maybe line something else up. Okay. Can climb on top. Um, not sure where I'm supposed to go from here. There's another thing I can rotate. Yeah, like there's... Okay, I can't use my bow and arrow right now. Can I jump on this? Stable-ish, okay. So there's another one here that I'm probably supposed to rotate. For probably much the same reason, I would expect. Pull this over here. Okay, and that, sh that should line up that. There's another one here that I'm probably also supposed to rotate. So I'm just going to do these prematurely. Might be way premature, but I think this is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, climb on this. There we go. Um, can't climb on this, though. Can I climb on this way? don't know if that's something I can actually jump on. I doubt it. And again, pit of despair beneath it. What? Who? Who designed this? Was there a pit and then you decided to make an orrery over it? Or do you think, you know what my orrery really needs is a pit? Who thinks like that? Jacob, your architect might have been insane. Just saying. Might have been insane. You actually pulling it this way doesn't help me at all, does it? No, because there's no way to pull that board over where I want it. Unless that board's supposed to be there. Okay, let's assume that board is supposed to be there. I was supposed to pull that twice. That kind of lines up with that being there, right? Um, no, actually, what would make more sense is for this to be moved, I think. Because then from that point from that washboard... I can use that to jump on, yeah. Use that to jump on that. Move over here, jump on the washboard, get up. And then jump over. I think that works. But Jacob's, Jacob's designer here was definitely insane. This is going to be a little sneaky, but I think we can do it. Just trust in the ropes, Laura. Trust in the ropes. Okay, good trust, good trust. Be a nice easy climb. Okay, I probably should have used the climbing ropes there. That that was my bad. But it still worked. And again, climbing ropes. Remember the climbing ropes? Could save us here. It wasn't even necessary. I'm mean, she used it anyway because she didn't want to take any chances, which is fair. Hold on. I thought there was a codex like right here. There's a codex. Not currently on my map. Where's the codex? Oh, no, not codex. It's locked. Just have to disengage the mechanism. Um, okay. I mean, that's really clever. Is that gonna stay where it is, though? I think so. So, you know, where'd the codex go? Or was I looking at this the whole time and I thought it was the codex? There's another lock on the other side. Of course there is. Everywhere where the codex is. Dude, I thought I saw a codex. I really did. It can't be below us. That doesn't make any damn sense. It must be above us? It could be above us. Yeah, there is. There is an above. Okay. So it must be right there. Survival mode? 
No, it doesn't show through the wall. I have a perk where it's supposed to show through the wall. Okay, well, let's ignore the codex for now. I think this is set up properly to be able to jump on top of the orrery there. We should just be able to walk on the other side, right? In theory, yes. Oh, wait, there's something over here. It's coins. I'm not sure we actually need the coins, but you know what? If we pick up that other shotgun, I'm actually totally okay with that. Okay, so just to be sure, I'm going to have you run for this, Laura. There you go. Get some good momentum in that swing. It really seems like this would be made out of glass. But maybe it's made out of tile. We'll say it's made out of tile, and that's why it didn't break. I mean, tile does have a breaking point, but... Definitely higher than that of glass, right? Okay, move this out of the way. Okay, now it's freestanding for... Okay, and now it's rotating. Theoretically keeping time with... whatever. Jacob's people were ahead of their time. <sighs> Watch your step, Lara. Yeah, this is gonna be real tricky, right? Anything. I mean, I don't really just see got to course. make it to the top now. Got to time it just right. There's a mural over here. We should look at the mural. And who knows? There might be a survival cache in here too. What do we got? The Mongols destroyed everything, and the city sank beneath the ice. Well, the Mongols destroyed everything, and then they made the city sink. So we need to time it perfectly? Are you shitting me right now? Why don't we... I mean, it seems like it'd be better to get into position, whatever that is, and then lock it in place, right? I mean, like, we should be able to push this back and then that'll lock it. Yeah, obviously not there. But, like, as soon as that passes... No. It won't work. She won't, she won't lock it back in place. Okay, no, so we need to do it while it's moving because Lara is insane. Okay, um, Lara, you might want to see a doctor about your suicide mission, basically is what we're going to do here. So what's the good move here? That's a good question. Um, shit, man, I don't know. It really looks like we have to wait for one of those to come into play. So we can jump to the right spot. Now, where is the right spot? That's a very good question. But I think it happens, like, right about here. Okay. I mean, now here we are. So we can get the other side. Do we want to be on this side? No, we want to be up. We want to be up top. How do they even work on this? Can someone explain that to me? Also, the ropes around the globe seem to have gone away. So it's clearly not something we're supposed to do. So we're not supposed to touch this anymore. We've gotten to the center. That's all we need to do for that. But how do we get up top? Well, I mean, these are climbing platforms, right? So clearly we're supposed to use probably those to somehow swing in a position on those. How is that going to work? Um, hmm. Well, not from here. Oh, what I could do is climb on this. Yeah, if that swings back around, and of course it will, because it's rotating, then what I can do is climb up, up on top, and then maybe that would leave me somewhere good. Okay. And this is just a ladder, basically. Why it exists, except to make this part a little bit easier. Okay, so... Like, this ball does not help me at all, but... I could go over to that side. Yeah, yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. Wait for it. I mean, doing this while everything's spinning. Laura's lucky she doesn't get dizzy. That would just be really bad. Okay, that they did allow for some free form there. Patience, it. Lara. Could drop on this. No. Okay, you say so. <laughs> I like she had to tell us. She had to tell us now. Okay, that's good. It worked out. Where are we going? We're going up. Where are we going up? Magic, I think, is the answer there. Oh, okay. No, no, no. You're supposed to walk on top of that one. I got it. I got it. Just gotta wait till everything swings around. 
and we're being in perspective, and I'm pretty sure that's where we're supposed to go. And now, there you go. Now we're on top. Good. Now I think we wait until what? what are we waiting for? We need to be able to climb up. How do we climb up from here? On the balls it seem like that would be the obvious choice, but how? We need to go up that. Oh, you know what? Throw out the climbing rope. The climbing rope could do it. Um, for the ball or for? Okay, no, that's just. Just got to keep climbing. Okay, that's actually a lot easier if I can jump off the middle. Um, doing that though, I'm gonna be walking around in circles. All right, just wait for it. Right here. There you go. Can you just work your way in the middle? No, that's just left. All right. And there is this part here. Nice simple jump. That's simple. Yeah. All right. And then there you go. All right. Can we get the codex now? We can totally get the codex now. We just need to wait. Um, we go over here. This will get there faster. But this will give us something. I don't know. I'm guessing another skill like we got before. Like the voice of God, various other things, and the optional challenge tombs. This was a mandatory challenge tomb, but still, nevertheless. There's our codex. So what do we got? We have voice of God. We have word of God now. Power word death. Speak it and they die immediately. The codex. This one speaks of the advanced archery skills developed in Byzantium. Classically trained. All right. So what is this? Increase the number of arrows that can be rapidly shot without redrawing the quiver to three. Okay. Well, that's not fantastic or anything. I suppose it's alright. Do I want to go back the other way? Doesn't look like it. What I should do is pick up the survival cache, and then that'll be everything here, and that'll be 100% this area. Just don't, you know, forget to pick up the survival cache. Which is right in front of me. Good thing I wouldn't survive a mode, otherwise I might not have seen it. Alright, um... She can't. Nope, can't do that. So, ropes. Broadhead arrows. Which is nice and everything, but how am I supposed to. Oh, okay. Okay, so going down was not necessary. We need to go this way. We can't set multiple ones at once here, so I suppose we just go ahead and set these up so they're green for each other. Like. So, and like, so, so, that's three at once, that could be good enough. Yeah, assuming I can bounce, you know, no bouncing, no bouncing allowed. Um, rope. No, no rope. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, okay, that's actually super simple. And a little obvious, you can think of it? Okay, yep. I like her. She has her hand out. Like, okay, that's where I need to go. You're right, Laura. That's exactly where you need to go. Okay, that's cool. She has her hand out so she can mark it and go, yes, that's exactly where I need to go. All right, Laura. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up easily so that they don't interfere with each other. That should be close enough. That's where you want to go, Laura. Right there. There you go. You got it. And that one there. So I wonder if that's like a gymnast trick or something. You just position yourself, kind of aim yourself with your arm, and then jump to where you're pointed. Pretty neat trick. Or it could just be a game mechanic. Oh. The old city is close. I didn't even think these immortal guys have been holding service for like Lara, 400 years. We're on the mountain above the glacier. Can you see Trinity? Yes. They're beginning their operation. I'm entering the old city now. Listen, Sophia, don't attack them too soon. We'll give it some time. I'll contact you again soon. All right. No bonfires here, huh? So we have relics. We have a challenge somewhere. Challenge here? What would the challenge be? 
got your question. That's the herbs, okay. And there's four documents in this tiny little thing. Let's go on further than it looks. Alright, well, let's go in survival mode and see if we can spot anything unusual. Oh, there's a document right up there. Maybe written by one of the Byzantine guys? Let's see what it says. Maybe. Pick it up. I'd like to pick up that document, though. Can you, can you pick it up? Hit the button, I swear. There you go. On Russian. I thought I had died. The cold gnawed at me, and I grew weak, even as I saw the Prophet's people camped on the ridge of a strange green valley. One foot after the other, sword in hand, I trudged on. I meant to charge. Battle cry on my chapped lips when consciousness fled and I collapsed into the arms of heretics. They know who I am. They have been expecting Trinity. They do not have much. But they fed me, kept me warm until I could walk again. The prophet told me I could leave whenever I desire, but they have taken my blades, <laughs> even armed. I do not know that I could kill this man. I have failed the order. I have failed myself, but I live. It would be really funny if we managed to fight the tracker because the prophet thought the appropriate punishment would be to uh, be immortal. <laughs> He doesn't seem the type, though, to do that, does he? I mean, I would totally do it, but I'm a bastard, so... It won't necessarily work out the same way. Probably shouldn't rush down here. Alright, seems simple enough. Climb the wall. I mean, we start off from a very low position, but there does seem to be a way to climb up there, so that seems easy. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Doesn't look like I am. Alright, coin... Is there anything down there? Is that from death? No, it looks like just death. Alright, up we go then. Slow as we go. Step by step. Actually, this is pretty quick, these axes. Oh. Right. Okay, the thing is... She, she speaks Greek, so she should be able to understand this, at least subtitle it. That's a lot of soldiers. Was there just a hundred of these guys? Maybe more? This looks like it's going to fall away, but I don't think we have a choice. Okay, it didn't fall away. That's good. So, we can't kill these guys. It's possible all we can do is avoid them. Oh, of course. Okay, you're good. You're good, right? You're good. Okay. That was annoying, but that was. Oh, alright. Now this ice is stable. Right, come on, you can do this, Lara. Slide your way through. It's ice. So it's going to be difficult to backtrack, obviously. I'm not going to be able to do that again the same way. Is that a relic? No, it looks like you just salvage. Still should pick it up, though. Okay, never mind. We're full up. Alright, so what do we got in the area? Some explosive type, which we already have enough of. The stuff we need, I guess. Or just experience, I suppose. I can still hear the soldier, or at least the commander, screaming his men. How do you maintain... How do you maintain a disciplined military structure after like a thousand years of service? To just keep what the old one is? I mean, you never move up in rank? That would suck. Okay, that's kind of weird she's able to balance there, but nope, okay, can't do that. Really thought I could. Well, it seems like I should be able to. Yeah, not a thing I can do. All right. Sure you can't... Okay, there we go. I was just in the wrong spot. Okay, this really seems like this is going to break. This does not seem like a good deal overall. 
They can't be killed. I think all we have to do is just avoid them. Um, guy's lips are very pronounced. Alright, well, we got her down the bonfire. Kind of funny they set these up for us. Hall of Guardians. Yeah, that's what this is, alright. This is definitely a Hall of Guardians. I don't know if we've missed any documents or anything. It's really hard to tell. So, just keep moving forward, I guess. Just keep swimming. And we really don't need the experience. I guess we could use a couple of extra points. I guess we could use the experience, but... Really... What are the chances we're going to be able to take any of these guys out? And they can feel pain, which is good for us, I guess, but they're going to be really pissed off about it. Okay, as long as they don't move their heads to the side, we should be totally fine. Depends how seriously they take this after, you know, 2,000 years. That's a big freaking ballista bolt, is that is. So many of them. Yeah, and they've all seen the Divine Source. That's, um... Interesting. Okay. <sighs> so they're kind of stuck in their ways, so I mean, that's definitely argument against immortality, I guess. Society and technology clearly has not advanced, even though they've had the same amount of time as everyone else in the world. Seems, well, you know, because they gave the Divine Source to soldiers, not to scientists. They give it to scientists, I bet the scientists could have made some really good progress. I see blood. It's kind of funny. There's so many of these bonfires now. Oh, there's a relic right over there. Seems like we should be able to get to it from here, right? Yeah, okay. What do we got? Oh, two relics have been. Oh, it's not even a relic. And neither is that. Okay, they just wanted to make sure we were full up on all our supplies. That's kind of worrying, actually. So, now that I've unfortunately wasted those, I can't upgrade anything. Alright. I mean, I still need a bear hide to be able to get one of my rifle pouch upgrades, I think. So, there should be a bear waiting for us, I would think. Alright. Looks like we go down. Let's do it. Bonsai! Shit. Okay, that, that could have been better. You made it though, you're alright. Oh, the splash has been noticed though. And then he noticed you. Hello! Oh, she snuck under. Good for you. He might not see your hand. I mean, he's still suspicious as all hell, but he didn't see her hand. Or maybe he did see her hand, we just don't know. Just move slightly over here, Lara. You're, you're fine. You're fine. I mean, what are the chances the guy has, you know, 2,000 years of actual fighting experience under his belt, right? He's probably been trained to be vigilant, but actually being vigilant. Oh, hello! Um, I like your sword. Bad, 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 do that. Get away. Um, just vaporize? So he's not actually immortal then. Hello. Bad. Oh god, go away. Okay, that also works. So yeah, he does just vaporize, so they can be killed. Um, I thought the divine source was Oh, alright, so there he goes. Okay, so the Greek fire can also kill them. Hello. And you're up. Yeah, they do just vaporize. Okay, that's um Hopefully that's not their souls vaporizing there, because that could be really bad. I don't know what he just left behind, but... Alright, hello. There's a lot of these guys now. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna suffer now if we don't do something real quick. Is he gonna burn the fire? No, that's just luck. Alright, heal yourself. There you go. There is something I can pick up. So why did he carry bullets? Can someone explain that to me? Got a headshot. I'm gonna heal, of course. Why was he carrying bullets? Yeah, okay, so he's carrying bullets too. Why? Oh, okay. We'll say that he carried bullets because... 
Um, somebody else invaded, let's say Constantine's men. So he picked it up because it was a curiosity, but he didn't actually know what they do. Um, a lot of Greek fire around here. You can tell because it's going blue. I need a height advantage, I think. Got more guys here, huh? Because they know where I am. They're coming right for me. Okay, well, I mean, if I can lead you over somewhere. Oh man, I snuck away from both of them like that. That was pretty neat. Didn't actually work in the long term, but still. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Greek fire. Need to get away from the Greek fire. Hello. Alright, definitely don't, um. Okay, don't. Why? Why, why? I did do it, but I need to heal up. There we go. Scramble away, scramble away, scramble away, scramble away, keep scrambling. Okay, good scramble. And then, yeah. Alright, that worked. You say expert, that was more of a desperation play than anything else, but alright, sure. Expert, why not? What do you got for me? You have nothing I can pick up. Also because I've switched to my, uh, my bullet weapons instead. Bullet weapons, yes, also known as guns. Remember guns? We like guns. Sometimes. Other times not so much. Could have definitely exploded a lot more guys. That's what all this Greek fires around here for. How do we get out here? So we came down this way, right? Seems familiar. Yeah, according to the marker, we're supposed to go that way. Okay, so apparently there are birds. Hopefully not also immortal. I only have 62 bullets left. All right, we need to switch weapons then. Um, here, actually, military rifle might be better. 180 total weapon. Well, oh. I mean, I hate the draw time for it, but the bow and arrow might actually be the better option here. They're more likely to have arrows than they are bullets, right? It seems like. It doesn't actually seem like, but like logistically, logically, it just makes sense. Okay, here we go again. Um, somebody just fired at me. Oh, hello. You guys are dangerous. That was a good shot. I'm kinda surprised I can kill these guys. That should have been a hit. Damn it, so much pain. Hello. There we go, he's out. Just had to get close enough for me to actually do something. How about fire, Scarecrow? No? Like fire? Uh, maybe he actually did like fire, or maybe he didn't like fire. However, you want to phrase that so that he dies. You, yeah, okay, so more likely for this to work out for me, I guess. I will accept it. Which way am I supposed to be going? Generally in that direction. Oh, that would have worked too, huh? Yeah, if I knocked it on their heads. That would have been a terrible last couple of moments for them. Or managed to explode any of this. Look at this, they were sitting in the middle of... Oh, man. So much lost opportunity, we could have seen a great explosion. Sadly, it was not to be. Alright, well, I mean, there's some stuff there. I wonder if I set that off now. Not, well, not with that, not with that. Just a regular little shot. Can I make that shot? Apparently not. Okay, well, let's see what happens over this way, then. Hello. Okay. Rather deathless to fight Trinity. Kind of not what I'm going for, but alright. Still getting hit. I realize that was a challenge. Can't seem to hit these guys for shit, though. There we go. Well, it hurt him anyway. It didn't hit him in the head. There we go. Heal up. Did actually use some of my plus supplies that time. Don't think he hit me from here. There we go. That should have been a headshot. I don't think he can hit me from here. Yeah, he can't. Um, I don't think I can hit him from here either. Come on, come on, come on. I might need that perk that actually tells me when it's actually a headshot. 
didn't work. There we go. That was a headshot. So apparently the signal fires thing is a thing. Don't see one over here. Oh, but there's a rope thing over here. What's that? Hold something down on somebody's head? Or not. Okay. Yep, it's another signal flare. Alright. So that is a thing. So I wonder if I'm all supposed to blow up these? Didn't really seem to do much. No. No. I might have been a waste of a couple arrows. It's alright. Need some more. No big deal. Alright. Well, I'm going to stop the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Rise of the Tomb Raider on PC Universe here, PC Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.